G'day there, it's Terry Nicholson, day 66 of my 90 day transformation video documentary. Last night we went and heard a fantastic speaker, Dr. Arnie Rubenstein, was talking about how to support our kids through their teenage years and how to, what to do and how to be with them, you know, in these earlier years. So it was really relevant for us because our kids are, you know, are still young, under 12, so um, he's saying it's a fantastic time to, to be aware of this so we can support our kids in their teenage years and in that transition from boys or girls to men and women, it's particularly in this society, and to bring in some rites of passage, some, um, some ceremony into that transition. So I'm going to talk about three facets of that over the next three videos. What I want to share first is this graph that really kind of shocked me and I think a lot of us in the audience and which was, he said, was what sort of shocked him and really sparked his, his passion to, to work with kids in this, in this age group, in that teenage age group. So he showed a graph, research done, talking to, talking to kids or talking to people across age groups the vertical graph line was the uh, was sort of sense of satisfaction or contentment with life as a percentage, and then the the horizontal was age running along in years, and so it was quite high in the early years. Generally, most kids up until about twelve, thirteen were you know basically fairly fairly high on that scale of of satisfaction with with their their sense of of their life and themselves. And then there was this, just this massive dip between the ages of 14 and 18 and the real, really spike, a low spike at age 16, 15, 16. So it was showing that there's just this, in, in, in our society, there's this massive drop for a lot of young people in those crucial teenage years. And then it kind of comes back up again around 18 and, and then they have, you know, more a sense of, of satisfaction or contentment in their life. But, you know, it, it's a really, it's a, it's a time when kids can kind of just sail through or they can really hit rock bottom and it can be a really scary, scary time <clears throat> for them and for their parents. Or <clears throat> So, yeah, he was just really advocating for people to think about some of the things he was sharing in those earlier years before they hit teenagehood. And the first one, or one of the things that stood out for me in the first part, when they do create rites of passage or ceremonies to help, yeah, help nurture and, and create a sense of, of transit, a real sense of, yeah, rite of passage or transition into, through that time, is to tell stories and to not just do it in the ceremony, but to start now. And he was talking about us as parents making the time to tell stories of, you know, just share with our kids, talk about when we were the age that they are now. So whether we've got a two-year-old or a nine-year-old or, you know, whatever age your, your kid might be. But to just start having conversations and telling, telling our stories as parents or as, as adults or people around and to encourage our kids to just share their stories and to just have that, that conversation and that storytelling has, you know, has been the way for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years in so many cultures. And um, so to really hold on to that one, the power of storytelling and the power of sharing our own experience and connecting with our own kids through that. And to do that now and that, that if you can continue that through those teenage years, it can be really a bit of a, a thread, a lifeline, and, not, and also to bring that into a rite of passage itself. But um, that's what I wanted to share today, remembering to tell our stories, to tell our stories, to share our stories, to connect through storytelling and encourage our kids to share their stories as well. Just creating that sense of being able to relate, relate, to be feel understood, to all of that stuff. So important. 
So I'm very grateful for that talk last night and for sparking that in us so that we can be doing that now with our kids when they're young. I mean, we already do to some extent, but it's just really kind of gone zing, do that more, you know, make the time to do that more and to, to make that a priority and to connect with our kids that way. So uh, all the best and I'll share the next thing in my video tomorrow. Subscribe to my channel, go back and check out my other videos. Love to connect with you. I'm on Facebook, facebook.com slash Terry J Nicholson. Love to um, connect in any way. Leave some comments, ask me questions, whatever. All right. See you tomorrow. All the best. Bye.